What is going on everyone? In today's episode, I'm going to be breaking down my two week emergency food supply shopping list. I am surrounded by a ton of non-perishable yet healthy foods that have the highest nutritional value and are also easy to prepare and keep for the longest time. That way you're going to be prepared for these situations like we are right now in this pandemic with the coronavirus and you are still going to be able to top up your immune system and function optimally, okay? So with that in mind, let's dive into ingredient number one and that is quinoa and brown rice. The reason why I wanted to start with these two is because they are so much healthier than your box standard white rice. White rice is stripped of all its nutrients, whereas these two have vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that are essential to your body functioning properly. They are also just as easy to prepare, and quinoa is a complete protein. And off the back of that is canned beans. I'm talking chickpeas, lentils, black beans, and kidney beans. These are some of my favorite ingredients to have on hand all times because not only are they super easy to prepare, they are also a great source of protein as well as fiber and making sure our food is high in fiber is essential to have a proper functioning gut and remember too we want to make sure we get enough protein in a time of emergency to maintain our lean muscle mass so these are a no-brainer in every single cupboard and following up the canned beans is canned vegetables you cannot have a healthy emergency cupboard without these ingredients these are vital to making sure your body is constantly topped off with nutrients because all these veg are filled with exactly just that and likewise they are super easy to prepare they complement most of your dinner meals perfectly so stocking up on enough canned veg is an absolute no-brainer now we've got almond milk this is one of my favorite ingredients to always be stocked up on and the reason is twofold first of which Almond milk keeps in your cupboards for a very, very long period of time. However, when you do open it up, it does need to go in the fridge, so keep that in mind. The next reason why I love it is because if you get the unsweetened fortified almond milk, you are actually going to be reducing your sugar intake, which is essential, and you are going to be getting essential vitamins and minerals such as B12 from your almond milk, which is crucial to an overall healthy body and a functioning nervous system. Most of us are actually deficient in B12, so consuming almond milk, especially in a time of emergency, is going to go a long way to making sure your body can function optimally. And the next ingredient that goes along nicely with almond milk is rolled oats. Rolled oats are known by most people as a great breakfast option. They are high in fiber and most importantly gonna keep you satiated for longer. So you're gonna avoid that mid-morning snacking because your body is going to have that feeling of fullness. Really important to remember, this is really great and remember it keeps for a very, very long time in those cupboards. And then next up is canned fish. I love canned fish for a whole host of reasons, starting with, well, it tastes so incredible. I usually stock up on tuna and also salmon. Tuna is great complement for a whole lot of snacks. You can have it on rice crackers, you can have it on crackers, and really up your protein intake. That way it is extra lean. And then we've also got salmon, which you can actually make a ton of different recipes from just this one can, i.e. canned salmon burgers. Mine are my favorite. They taste so, so good and are super easy to prepare. And most importantly, not only are you gonna get a ton of protein from the salmon, but you're also gonna get a really good source of healthy fats, which are not only gonna keep you satiated for longer, but that's optimal for your brain function. You need those essential fats to make sure your brain can function properly. And then we've got bread squatties, specifically whole grain multi-game bread. You want to avoid the white stuff because that is all stripped of its nutrients. This actually has a whole lot more nutrients and is a great option to throw in the freezer. All you have to do is simply take it out, toast it in the toaster for a couple of minutes and you are going to be able to form the foundation of a yummy meal of your choice. And then we've got nut butter. This is one of my favorite ingredients to have on hand at all times. The reason is twofold. First, it is packed, filled with protein, and it is also a great source of healthy fats. My favorite is almond butter. That is just a tasting, but you can still get cashew butter. You can get peanut butter. Just make sure you focus on a nut butter that has no added sugar. That is where you can go wrong, and a lot of the peanut butters in particular are going to have just that. So make sure you read the label. And then another ingredient I have here is PB. Too. This is a peanut butter powder. This keeps forever and you can add it to your smoothies. Super, super easy to do. And then we've got pasta and I'm not just talking about any pasta. Again, I'm sure you're going to see a theme here and that is we are focusing on 
foods that actually have a whole lot more nutrients than your standard ones and chickpea pasta is specifically a whole lot healthier than your normal pasta. And the reason being is because just like white rice, pasta is generally stripped of all of its nutrients where that is not the case with this chickpea pasta. It tastes just as good, but it's packed full of protein and again, fiber, giving you that feeling of fullness and aiding your digestion. And there's no such thing as a yummy pasta without a yummy pasta sauce. I am always stocked up on healthy pasta sauces. And for me, I focus on Mimi's International. That's my go-to brand because, well, just like the label says, it is just sauce. You can read all of the ingredients. What you wanna look out for is any additives like sugar and excessive ingredients that don't really fit a healthy pasta sauce. So, and then we've got spices, salt, and pepper. These are ingredients that you should always have on hand. They will help you add a ton of flavor to your meals in a time of emergency and make sure you do not get bored of the foods you are eating. So things like chili pepper, cayenne pepper, cumin, salt and pepper, all of these spices are things I always stock up on. And you can't cook a healthy meal without a healthy cooking oil. For me, olive oil is my favorite, but you can try different ones like avocado oil and coconut oil. Those keep just as long, but remember you definitely need an oil on hand to cook all of these meals during a time of emergency. And then we've got coffee. Everyone should always be stocked up on coffee. You wanna make sure you are alert, you are awake, and caffeine is a surefire way to do that. And also, for me personally, I practice intermittent fasting every single morning. And coffee is a great way to make fasting a whole lot easier. I have a cup of coffee first thing in the morning, that hunger just goes away because caffeine blunts your hunger and it is so much easier to fast a little longer throughout the day. So having my coffee is a must. And then we've got sauces and the sauces I'm talking about are low in sugar and a whole lot healthier than your normal sauces. You do not want to fill up on sugary sauces that are gonna spike your insulin and add unnecessary calories to your meals. Instead, focus on the low calorie ones, ones that are healthy but still going to add a ton of flavor to your meals. Remember, we want to keep you entertained, we want to keep your taste that's happy. Soy sauce, low sodium is a great option to always stock up on. So too is Frank's Red Hot Sauce. They keep good for a very, very long time and will add a ton of flavor to all of your meals. And then we've got frozen veg and frozen fruit. Frozen fruit is a no brainer because obviously as you can see with a lot of these ingredients, you can make smoothies throughout your times of emergency. And also blueberries in particular are packed filled with antioxidants, meaning your immune system is going to be topped up and boosted. Secondly is frozen veg. Keeps forever in the freezer and is so easy to cook. You literally just throw it on the pan and you're gonna be getting a ton more nutrients in your meal with doing very little work or effort. And then a quick couple snacks are high fiber crackers. These are essential. Avoid, again, the white starchy kind of crackers. You want ones filled with fiber so you are going to feel fuller for longer. And remember, we are aiding that digestion. These are my favorite brands. And also nuts. Having nuts on hand, they keep forever. They're gonna give you that feeling of fullness for longer from all the healthy fats and a little dose of protein. And speaking of protein, we are talking about protein bars. These are one of the easiest snacks you can have on hand because there is no time to prepare it. All you have to do is open the wrapper and you're gonna be fueling your body and getting a good dose of protein. Likewise, these particular brand are called Iron Vegan. They are a plant-based protein bar, which is my go-to. Try and limit how much animal products I'm having, as well as they keep for a very long time. They have a really good dose of protein, but also a good dose of fiber. And you can see that theme. You wanna have a well-balanced meal and and this is one of the best protein bars to do so. And the next ingredient I have might surprise a lot of people and that is popcorn, but popcorn is actually a surprisingly healthy snack and over these long days and stressful nights, you're probably gonna want a Netflix and chill. So popping up some popcorn is going to be a great snack. It's also filled with fiber and again, it's just a healthier option so long as you don't cover it in butter or salt. And we've got supplements in particular, whey protein or vegan protein and spirulina or organic greens both of which are in powder form. I love these because they really round off your smoothie. It gives you a nice dose of protein to maintain your lean muscle mass without literally doing anything. It is essential to have this in your cupboards, keeps for a very long time, and also makes those smoothies a whole lot tastier. When you're going through a time of emergency, maybe getting veg might be a little difficult, so topping up on this organic greens powder in your smoothies is a surefire way to make sure you're getting enough nutrients every single day. 
And there you have it, squaddies. These are all the ingredients that I have in my cupboard stocked for an emergency. So make sure you download the free guide that I put together. It lays out every single one, and you can go out and buy all these ingredients and have the exact same food stocked in your cupboard starting tomorrow. If this video helped you, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you check out all of my custom workout plans by just going to www.lean-squat.com, squaddies, and I will see you back here next episode.